now to U.S. President Donald Trump and French President Emmanuel Macron at the French-American D-Day commemoration event. The D-Day 75th anniversary commemoration event, seeing the presence of U.S. President Donald Trump, First Lady Melania Trump and other world leaders. Today marks exactly 75 years since D-Day, which is uh, the day of the Normandy landings. Let's take a listen in to what the American president had to say just a short while back. They pressed on for love and home and country the main streets, the schoolyards, the churches, and neighbors, the families, and communities that gave us men such as these. They were sustained by the confidence that America can do anything, because we are a noble nation with a virtuous people praying to a righteous God. The exceptional might came from a truly exceptional spirit. The abundance of courage came from an abundance of faith. The great deeds of an army came from the great depths of their love. As they confronted their fate, the Americans of the Allies placed themselves into the palm of God's hand. The men behind me will tell you that they are just the lucky ones. As one of them recently put it, all the heroes are buried here. But we know what these men did. We knew how brave they were. They came here and saved freedom, and then they went home and showed us all what freedom is all about. The American sons and daughters who saw us to victory were no less extraordinary in peace. They built families. They built industries. They built... U.S. President Donald Trump uh at the event to mark 75 years since the D-Day landings. It's been uh, 75 years uh, since the start of the campaign to liberate Nazi-occupied Northwestern Europe. The American president and First Lady Melania Trump and other world leaders attending that event to commemorate the D-Day landings, also known as the Normandy landings. Remember, on this day in 1944, troops from the UK, the US, Canada and France attacked German forces on the coast of Northern Europe. This was the largest military, naval, air and land operation ever attempted. It marked the start of the campaign to liberate Nazi-occupied Northwestern Europe and what marked the beginning of the downfall of Hitler's empire. D-Day involved the simultaneous landing of tens of thousands of troops on five separate beaches in Normandy. It's been regarded as a moment of historic international cooperation. U.S. President Donald Trump and French President Emmanuel Macron and other dignitaries from across the world 
gathering to commemorate the D-Day landing's 75th anniversary.